Hey there guys, today I bring you an updated version on my how to use vehicles or how to create usable vehicles tutorial um, in Project Spark. So as you can see when I press test, it all it does is it'll just have an interactable vehicle, which is like a raft in this case, and I can press B to enter it, it'll display press B to exit, and I can move it around and it will not make my player change while I'm using it, and then I can press B to exit and I can continuously get back in and, in and out and yeah so that's pretty much it so what I did with this is it's fairly simple especially compared to the last tutorial or the the previous usable vehicles tutorial I don't use changing of brains or anything all I do is just change the page it's very simple I think it's like it's less than well I'll count how many lines of code it is in my head when we're going but um so right now it's just one line of code. All I did was change if B is pressed from the third person adventurer. Um, all I did was change if B is pressed, change it or and its is vehicle or it its is vehicle variable is true. Just uh, switch page to in vehicle. So when it's in vehicle, here's another two lines. So it's three lines total. Uh, after one frame, make this and then if this isn't interacted after this one frame, switch page back to previous page. And we'll just keep going back and forth as if it's a vehicle, obviously. Um, that's three lines code. And then I go into the vehicle's brain. All it does is just set its is vehicle variable equal to true. And then count on timer after one frame. And then it'll become interactable. And if it's interacted with, set object on vehicle equal to that, the player, pretty much. Whatever interacts with the vehicle itself. Um, and then I'll switch page to end vehicle, so that's a total of seven lines. And then this is where it gets kind of complicated, but not really. Um, all it does is just set its um, the player, pretty much, or whatever interacts with the vehicle's position, equal to the vehicle's center plus just location, orientation, stuff. Don't worry about that. It'll vary from vehicle to vehicle, pretty much. Uh, it'll set the object on vehicle or the player forward equal to my forward. I'll attach the the player to the vehicle. And then I'll set a follow camera for the vehicle, not the player. So just so that it follows the vehicle itself. And then after two for two seconds, it'll display press speed to exit. And then count on timer in one fr for one frame. Uh, allow B to be pressed. And then when B is pressed detach the player from the vehicle again, set its position, offset it, offset its position slightly so that it won't be falling through the vehicle, or so that it won't be, I'll say, on the vehicle when it, when he presses B and detaches from it. Then interact with the vehicle so that the vehicle will switch pages and switch page, or not, interact with the object on the vehicle so the player will switch pages and then switch the vehicle's page itself so that'll be back to here. So it's fairly simple in all seriousness. Um, I have a code, code share link down in the description if you guys want to see that. If you got a little confused or anything, or it was too fast for you to understand it. Uh, it has all the code that you would need, all the code needed um, in in the, that's in the, all the code that's in the video in on the page. So it's just like, you just read it right from there and you don't have to like pause and play the video over and over again. But um, it's fairly simple. Glad you guys liked it so much the first one, so I just thought, like, I know the code has changed a lot since, um, since the originate, or since it originally started, like, for example, like, Boolean, they finally fixed this. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. So, like, say in vehicle, we'll say equals to, it's in, it's in Boolean. Oh, yes. Finally, not in logic and timing. Oh, I don't know who influenced that, but yes, I said in previous streams that boolean is a variable, true is a variable, a boolean variable, not just a logic, so. Yeah, coding's changed a lot. Um, I know a lot of my old code's broken, so I decided to make this updated video. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later, I guess. Alright, thank you.